Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Broly555 TV, and welcome back to my NCAA Football 07 series. And today, well, we got quite the treat for you in terms of matchups. Now, what I will start off by pointing out is that the Gravy Man last week did what the Gravy Man usually does. He came out and curb stomped ECU into the ground 91 to 10. And it was pretty uh, pretty much over by halftime. As you can see, he was up 63 to 3 at halftime and basically went into a cruise control and goofing around in the second half. Still ended up winning 91 to 10. He had an excellent defensive performance and his offensive performance was well. What you expect when an A-minus offense controlled by the Gravy Man goes up against a C defense. I mean, who knew? <clears throat> Player of the game, of course, was Schwoops, who had eight catches for 226 yards and six touchdowns. It was pretty epic. Yep, very epic stuff indeed. <clears throat> now, this week, the Gravy Man is going to be having an epic showdown. He's ranked number three. And on a 25-game win streak, and he will be up against Florida State, who's 2-0 on a 7-game win streak and ranked number 4. It'll be a top 4 showdown in Tallahassee for the Gravy Man, which last year the Gravy Man barely survived Florida State, 55-48 in Morgantown. So this could be a really high-stakes game. It could be really close, and the Gravy Man could win, but he could also get upset. Florida State's really talented, and they gave the Gravy Man a fight last year, so it could happen. Of course, the Gravy Man could also win by multiple scores, but we'll see what happens when that time comes. But you're not here to watch that today. You're here to watch the National Game of the Week. Undefeated number one Notre Dame versus undefeated number two Oregon, which is me. <clears throat> Notre Dame has an A-plus offense and an A-defense. Basically, they have All-Americans everywhere, especially on offense, where they have so much speed and talent. It's just at the skill positions, especially. And their offensive line is really good, too. It's just ridiculous how talented they are. And they got a defense that's as good as they come. But I have an A offense and an A defense. I'm as good as they come on both sides of the ball, especially when I'm controlling things. And I have the nation's number one rush defense, the number one total offense per game, number one rushing yards per game, a top five passing offense, and I'm second in the nation in scoring, only behind the gravy man. So with that being said, let's get into this, shall we? I think we're going to go all yellow today. Can they? Nope. Yep. Well, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go with all yellow today. Because it's the number one team in the nation coming to Autzen. I mean, I got to represent the yellow, bro. All right. So Sam Brown has 13 total touchdowns on the year. Brian Brown has seven total TDs. And, oh, I forgot to make my substitutions at linebacker to put Tony Haley in his usual spot. Well, I'll fix that early in the game. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. A mild, clear day is what we'll have for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the Oregon Ducks. Uh-huh. The college football season continues, and i got to tell you, Lee and Kirk, I am ready for this game. And here come the Ducks. They have two good teams here, and I'll be honest with you, I really don't know... <clears throat> what to expect from this game. Notre Dame has an impressive looking young man at wideout. Watch for them to go to him early and often in this one. He's the big play man in this offense, so look for him to step up and be the difference. Oh, Kirk. There's a chance I might even agree with you on this one. The Notre Dame... Whoa! I've been the underdog. Everyone's picking Notre Dame today. I guess we'll find out if it's true. Brought to you by Coach. Mm. 
I mean, Notre Dame is ridiculously talented, so they are capable of doing it. Question is, will I allow it? All right, now before we accept this, let's go fix my defense first. So we want to switch Brown and Haley. So we'll put a uh, lake right there for a minute. And then we'll put Tony Haley right there. And then we'll put uh, Mr. Brown right there. All right, and that should be it. All right, opening kickoff. I start with the ball because Notre Dame stole my strategy from me. Robinson fields it at the seven. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field. For All the right. Game. Today we get to watch a very good quarterback. And likewise, his coach is counting Ooh. on big game from him. Well, it's important All right, Mr. Brown, you're just going to have to get out there in the flat. Oh, yeah. I like this matchup. Yeah, Coach, I think he'll do pretty well today. But we'll see how it goes. Well, I guess he wasn't totally wide open, but Sam Brown will get the first down. And it's plays just like that one that make him such a nightmare for defense. Well, that's why he's so tough to defend. You've got everybody covered downfield, and he just... All right, we're controlling that clock with our offense. Pretty impressive offense this year, wouldn't you say, fellas? The numbers say it all, Brad. See if we can establish a ground attack with Mr. McDuffie. You guys better block for McDuffie, because he's slow. Cylinders this year. Let's see if they can continue to play well today. Oh, jeez. No one blocked him. Oh, boy. Well, I don't need to see the second one of that. This defense has just been spectacular this season. Yep, they have some wonderful athletes on the field. These guys are very fast. And they send my impact receiver deep as a decoy. One of the top ten defenses in the nation. All right, here we go. We're controlling the clock. We just need to get another first down. Drop back to pass. Brown throws it out. Really? There's a fumble. Really? Come on, you piece of crap! Wow. I had all that space, and then they didn't, and then he fumbled it. Come on. There we go. Archer was the intended target on the play, so that'll make it second down. Second down and ten to go. Come on, boys. The fighting Irish go with the I formation. Jeez. A very impressive open field tackle. They'll grab ten yards there. Man, their offense is great. Third and third down. Ball on the thirty-one yard line. The D-line moves to the inside. Try to get the Darn it, they got it. They got it either way. Someone wanted a little head start there. Offside. That helps out the offense a little bit by moving them up five yards. They'll take anything they can get, Kurt. What was that? You got the first down. What are you getting in his face about? I'll take that. I'll take that all day. Thank you. They come out with three wide receivers. There we go. At the 35 yard line, Bell gains around six yards on the run. It's second down. Come on, Oxen. Help me out here. From the gun. Need some support. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Number two. Jeez. Oh, darn it. I couldn't get the fumble recovery. Well, he had better leverage there, and he just yanked the ball out. 
Come on, boys. Let's get a stop on D. Come on. Jeez. But it's still great awareness by this receiver to know where he was on the football field. Yeah, and unlike our viewers at home, these players aren't looking at a graphically displayed first down line or anything like that. They just have to know what yard line to get to. Fakes to the back. He passes it. Boom. There you go, Marcellius. At the 12. The for Marcellus. For only a couple. Second down. Jeez, this is not the start to the game I wanted. Notre Dame sets up in the eye. Boom, there you go. Bring the heat. Yeah, I don't think you want an 89 overall linebacker to have a free shot at you, bro. Boom! Again! Fourth down! Fourth down. The holder's on the 19. So this will be about a 29-yarder. This will make it a field goal game. The kick is up. And the field goal is good. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Notre Dame, the kick this one off. Bell and Robinson, deep to return. He kicks it off. Robinson fields it at the one. All right, let's try not turning the ball over. That would be a, a great idea if we could do that. They can hold on to the football. Turnovers can absolutely kill the team's momentum. Yeah, I just think they have to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, I don't like that look they're giving me. We're going to have to... Do that. Look at the throw. Looking. Yeah, do, do, do. I'll take the eight yard gain or seven yard gain. Second down. All right. Well, looks like they're going to actually give it to me, maybe. Line up with four wideouts. Controlling the clock is my specialty. They snap it to the back. Oh, I couldn't spin around him, really. Man, these guys are really taking that away. Not a good call, only because they lost yardage. I tell you, I've seen plays like this where the tailback breaks one and goes for a touchdown. You're right, Lee. You can never tell. Three wideouts here. Hmm. Brown drops back. Looks. And we're gonna get that first down. There we go, Sam Brown. A big gain on that quarterback scramble. Boy, defensive break. All right, let's try this one. Everybody covered, but they left the quarterback with Man, Notre Dame is really bringing their A game today. Good defense, but you got to keep your eye on that kid. Ooh, there might be an over the top here for Mr. Fuller. Brown set to go to the air. No, 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 There we go, Fuller. Playing like an impact player. Woo! First down. Brown changes the play at the line. Controlling the clock. Controlling the clock. We're gonna control the clock.
They'll throw on first down. Yeah, there you go. First down, Fuller. At the 18-yard line. Do, do, beer, beer, beer. Yep, the mm. the I'm going to give McDuffie another chance on the direct. And the offense seems to be building a little bit more momentum on every play. Mm. The defense is in the nickel. No biggie. We're just burning clock. Direct snap to the back. That's right, they overshot him. But he got the first down. Yeah. Big one on this defense. With his back is running the ball. I'd put a few more guys in the box there. Let's see if we can get Fuller a screenplay. This offense has done an unbelievable job getting points once they enter the red zone. That's right. These guys get it done better than almost anybody in the country. The Ducks come out in the shotgun. <sighs> Yeah, they're bringing it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Brown drops to throw. Ah, oh, darn it. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Hmm. Second it's goal. second and goal. Let's see if we can pull this one off. Sam Brown is blinking. You know what that means? It's peanut butter and scramble time. Or as they say in Talladega Nights, it's shake and bake. It's shake and bake time. And Sam Brown says touchdown. Yeah. Too slow. Instead of forcing the pass down the field, he took what the defense gave him. What a play. Do, 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 do. It's amazing what happens when you don't fumble the ball. Here's the try. So I think next possession I'm going to try and get uh, Ryan Brown going on the ground. Boom. 7-3. Eight play, 80 yard drive that took 330 off the clock. That's a good drive. And I lead Notre Dame 7 to 3. Now let's see if my defense can get a stop. Boom. Come on guys. Let's get crazy. Trips right. Surveys the field. Uh oh. Yeah, there we go. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing, and as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. Back to pass. He lets it go. Really? Oh, you got to be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. That was bull honky. I play perfect defense, and they get a tip pass for a touchdown. Wow. Perfect D, and no one can catch this guy? Really? Not even you, Long? What's your excuse? They're gonna flag the celebration there. Is this going to be one of those days where I have to win in a shootout? Of course, when I've lost games in the past in this franchise, whether it be on this game or whether it be in the later games in the series, uh, usually I would lose in a shootout. Running into the kicker on the defense. Wow, I was weak. Notre Dame lines up for the kickoff. Bell and Robinson back deep to return, and this one's away. Calls for the fair catch. 
Now we see the offense come out of the field. Mm -hmm. You know who's trembling right now? That defensive side. All right, Mr. Brown, see if you can do anything on the ground. We've got a first and ten. First and ten. Brown lines up as a single back. And the Ugh. No holes down. generated there. Brown gains about two yards on the run. Second they line up at the 22. On the 22 Second down. Run. All right, Mr. Brown. Let's see if you can get that first defense. down. Looks like you're going to have a hole. Jeez, they called a perfect defense for that. Three on the carry. Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 25. Five yard line. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. Yeah, I'm going to try a speed option here. Actually, you know what? I'm not. I don't trust that look. Well, I'm going to go get this first down cuz yeah. How about that conversion? Let me tell you something. That defense got to be a little discouraged after that play. No question. You could see the guys are hanging their heads a little bit going back to the huddle after All that right. big Let's play. All right. See what they do. Oregon lines up with three receivers. All right. Oh, wow. How did they guess that? Jeez. Oh, boy. Okay, if I get an over-the-top opportunity here, I'm definitely taking it. Actually, I'm going to try a speed option here. They go with the option. Oh, I tried to pitch and it wouldn't let me do it. That's okay. It wouldn't let me pitch to McDuffie. He would have had the first down. Brown is back in the gun. for the first he's looking he throws oh really my receiver literally stopped running that's bull crap and it looks like there's an injury down there my receiver literally stopped running in the middle of his route and that's why i threw a pick what an idiot man i am getting so screwed in this first quarter a tip pass by my D that turns into a touchdown for them. That early fumble. And now I throw a pick because my receiver stopped running his route. Jeez. Tackles him at the 26. And he got stopped before he even got started on that thing. That defense had to rise on that kid the entire time. Whoa. From the 26 yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Notre Dame comes out in the shotgun. He's looking to pass. Short toss, catches it. Loss of two. We've got third and ten. Come on, Odson, get louder than this. We're down. Didn't you? Uh, didn't you check? Looks to pass. Number two. Intercepted by Marcellus. Defense comes up big. Right back at you, baby. Think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. Good job, Marcellus. Yum. They'll take over. Let's see, how are they lining? Oh, yeah.
Brown comes to the line with three. All right, rounds. Mr. Brown, get out there. Drops back on first down. Looking. No, 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 no. Oh, really? Oh, come on. Wow. That is how you play defense. Second down. Ball on the 23 yard line. Come on, people. Get over there. Set up in the gun. Drop back to pass. The senior makes the there we go, Fuller. Got some good blocks to spring you free. Fuller taking it to the house. Touchdown, Oregon. Yeah. There we go. Got some great blocks, though, to spring him free. Especially by 88, 86 right there, whatever his number is, 86, 88. You know who you are. That's how we do this, boys. Boom. And he hits the PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac Drive summary. Oregon is ready to kick it away. Boom! Bell passes at the five. There we go. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you. All right, we're up fourteen to ten, early second quarter. Notre Dame. Come on, defense. Look at the throw. And he throws. Oh! Throws that was almost intercepted again. The ball was there, but the defender beat the receiver to it. Nice play. So that'll make it second down. On the 25 yard line. It's second down. The line is making some adjustments. There's a play fake. He lets it go. Jeez. They'll bring him down at the 40 yard line. Our cameraman didn't even know who he was. Notre Dame sets up in the eye. They hand it off. Jeez. At the 50. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there running the football by this guy. First it's first and ten. They line up at the 50. Notre Dame comes to the line with three wide. On play action. Throwing right. Complete. At the 32 yard line. And they're building some great momentum on this drive, guys. That's right, Brad. That was a crisp pass by the quarterback. And they're looking pretty good moving the ball right now. The Irish line up with three wide. Drops back on first down. And he's hit as he throws. Really? This is ball crap. I hit him as he throws, and he still throws a laser. Come on, defense. You got to do something here. The fighting Irish line up in an eye formation. He looks to throw on first down. Looks to the end zone. Intercepted by Sani. Yeah, my D comes up huge again. Wow. Well, according to him, he threw down a dunk in the high school basketball game. It was the play of the week on all local news stations. You know what's funny? I didn't get that in any of my notes, but you know what? I'll take your word for it. All right, let's see if we can get Brown a good run. We'll start, at the six. We'll start the drive at the six-yard line. First and ten. Brown is the single setback. There we go, Mr. Brown. Yeah. That's a good run. This offensive line is built to allow this tailback to make plays as you just saw. He's able to get into the open and create some excitement right there. First down, 10 to go. 
Ball on the 20. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. All right. There we go. First down, Brian Brown. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. They line up at the 32. First down. Oregon lines up with three receivers. There we go. Great edge blocking. Fuller with the big reception. He's having a monster day so far. Jeez. Well, that didn't work with McDuffie. It's second and nine. Ball on the 36 yard line. Ooh. Notre Dame lines up in a dime defense here. I'm try running to the middle. It's a direct snap. Well, that didn't work. Gosh. Great play by the big guy. Man, this kid can explode off the ball, which is pretty impressive for a guy his size. Right, yep, total. He showed that he has a very quick first step line. there as he got into the backfield to break up that play. Right. Brown is back in the gun. Oh. Oh no, come on Fuller, get that. Touchdown Fuller, again! And with that, Sam Brown just passed past White for career, passed Pat White for the career touchdowns. NCAA record. Dang. I thought I was gonna get picked for a second there. And they're lining up for the PAT. Oh, they blocked the PAT. Dang it. It's 20 to 10. If I went 94 yards and six plays for a touchdown. Yep. Boom. He sends it off. Bell takes it from the six. So the offense will come out and try to turn things around after an interception on their last drive. The quarterback has to get that interception out of his hand. You can't be scared to keep firing away in this game or the defense will tear you apart. The Irish line up in an I formation. Bell hits it on the inside. Jeez. At the 32-yard line, a gain of eight on the carry. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down and two to go. Come on, Deet. Bell, alone in the backfield. Look at the throw. Let's it go. And Intercepted by Marcellus again. Yeah, his second of the day. My defense is third of the day. That's his second interception of the day. All right. Defense. Good field position here. They'll, take They'll start this drive inside their opponent's territory. Hmm. Oregon comes out of the shotgun. Option left side. Take his back. McDuffie with the good yardage. That was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. The Ducks set up in the gun. All right, let's see if we can reestablish the ground game on these guys. 
The running back has it. First down and more for Mr. Brown. And he busts a big one on this defense. With his halfback is running the ball, I'd put a few more guys in the box there defensively to try to stop him. Let's take a look at the offense yep. production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. My offense is starting to hub along. I do not like that look. Rock back to pass. Wants to get it out on the screen. Rock there we go. The 20 yard line. So they pick up a few with a pass play, coach. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. It's second, second and six. Second. Ball on the 20 yard line. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Hmm. Brown drops back to pass. Oh, really? Come on. Yeah, coach. Did you see that drop pass? Yeah, but it's safe to say that he heard footsteps, don't you think? I mean, the defender almost got there at the same Third time as the football. Six. All right. Well, the correct answer is yes, he did drop the football. Come on, sweetheart. The quarterback is trying to get you the ball. You got to make those kind of McDuffie plays. gets the first down and more on third and six. Good job there by the offensive line, allowing the runner to get some good yardage. Lee, as you know, any time you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. Brown steps back to pass. Hands it to the senior. There we go. At the four. That grab just put him over 200 yards in the first half. Man, it's hard to believe that he has that many yards already. It seems like the game just started. Yeah. The you know what? We're going to you again, Fuller. Quick. It's going to get real ugly. The ball is on the four, and they're going in. They line up in the gun, looking to spread out this defense a bit. to throw catches it tackle at the one. Oh, he's in the end zone he's in the end zone he's literally in the end zone how do you have him marked at the one? Oh, oh we're challenging that i'm challenging that oh you bet i am he got knocked into the end zone with the ball Wow! All right, McDuffie. Let's see if you can get it in. And there you go. Touchdown. Yeah, the running back just ran right through the opening, almost like a truck driving down the highway. Watch out. They line up for the point after. And just like that, it's 27 to 10. Over three minutes remain in the second quarter, and the score is Oregon 27, Notre Dame 10. It's been a little rough at times, but we're off to a great start against Notre Dame. Defense has already picked off three passes, and the offense has got its mojo going after the uh, early turnovers. Offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca Cola. Four wide receivers in the formation. It goes straight. Boom! Haley with the tackle for loss. 
Look at that. There you go. The just threw off their blocking assignments, and that's why this running back is looking for his mouthpiece right now. Second, they line up at the 19. Second and 11 coming up. Notre Dame lines up in the shotgun set. Drops back to pass. He'll dump it short. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, gosh. That was such a near disaster. It's third and 11. 19. 19. Is an impact player. And on third and long, you better expect him to make a play. Look at the throw. Fourth down. To the middle. It's his tight end. Good pass and a good completion, but they'll still be short of the first down. It's always tough to get a first down in those third and long situations. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Punts the ball away. Signals for a fair catch. Hardly tough sledding for this offense that last drive as they took it in for six. Well, look no further than the guys up front. They created some huge holes to run through. They'll start this drive at the point. Yeah, that ain't happening. The Ducks set up in the gun. Brown looking to throw on first down. Oh, geez. Well, they blew that one up. <laughs> Second down. The Irish bring in the nickel package. He's looking to pass. Surveys the field. Oh, oh my gosh. Darn you. I'm going to try a wheelie smash. I haven't ran this play in a while. It's third down. They'll work from the shotgun. Brown steps back to pass. Looking. And now he's... A what? Hey! I just hit the throw button and then it made him stop. So the quarterback picks up about eight What the? The defense calls a timeout. And they've got two remaining. Wow, I literally got screwed out of that play. Guy was wide open. I hit his button. And he's like, up, psych. Jeez, I got hosed out of that. Gets it off. Signals for a fair catch. Yo, the defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Wow, I got screwed out of that. We'll see if they have things figured out on this next first and ten. Going with the shotgun here. He looks to throw on first down. He throws it, got it to the senior. Really? Across midfield, at the 30, to the 20. And of course, they score off of it. In for the touchdown. They hooked up for the long touchdown there, guys. What a Jeez. great ball. The quarterback knew he had the matchup that he wanted, and he took advantage of it. And how about that receiver? He made a great catch. They line up for the point after. Well, at least I got time to score for the half, allegedly. He hits the PAT. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Oregon 27, Notre Dame 17. Notre Dame to kick this I ball. call a right play and it screwed me out of the wide open first down. Robert Cannot believe that still. The offense gets ready to start a new drive. But they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca-Cola. Ooh. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. Cat 82. Cut. Brown drops back to pass. He's looking. There he goes. Yeah, I didn't fully trust that look, but Sam Brown got the first down. He took him down hard. So that one goes for a decent gain. And guys, his running ability sure makes him hard to stop. No doubt about it, Brad. Whenever you have a fast quarterback like this guy, it just adds another element to your offense. Oregon in a four wide set. <sighs> okay. It's a direct snap. 
McDuffie with more than a first down. There he goes. Good job, McDuffie. Here by the ball carry to step out of bounds and conserve some clock. They line up at the 43. First down. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Brown on the option. Now he pitches it. Oh, jeez. Jeez. That play just got stuck. I think the quarterback might have been better off keeping it itself. Second and 11. We're at the one minute mark. First half. Brown comes to the line with three wide. Hmm. Brown drops back. Looks. Oh, come on, Fuller. Get this one. Yeah, Fuller! His third of the day. Woo! But he had no idea he was going to put it in the end zone this many times. You know, Coach, he runs this offense better than anyone in school history. Boom. After getting screwed out of the last one, Fuller gets his third receiving touchdown in the first half. Oregon gets set to kick this one away. Bell and number 19 back ready to return. Kicks off. Bell takes it at the four. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll take over. Uh, the line. Line. Take over at the 23 yard line. They line up in an eye. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw. Jeez! Knock that down, people. We'll take their second time out of the half. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 38 yard line. Come on, D. Look at the throw. Throws. No, he almost intercepted. Great defensive play. It won't look like much in the stat book, but that's getting the job done. Second and, it's ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 38. All right, here we go. Notre Dame lines up for the shotgun set. Looks to pass. Tony Haley with the huge hit. Intercepted by Sammy. Oh my goodness. Touchdown defense. Wow. That might be the best pick six I've ever had in this dynasty mode. Tony Haley hits him. Sammy picks it up off the ground for an interception and returns it to the house. Wow. Wow. So the kicker's on the field to attempt the extra point. That's ah, just LinkedIn buzzing me. Like I care. Boom. 41 to 17, me. Wow. Four interceptions in the first half for Notre Dame. Boom. And now we'll see the offense coming out onto the field for their next possession. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers brought to you by Coca Cola. Yeah, Notre Dame may be moving the ball up and down the field, but the coach is putting a new I'm getting the turnovers. Because four picks are way too many. Sonny with a takedown at the 37. How about that run by this halfback? You know what? When this offense can run the ball like this, watch out. They can score quickly. Watch out is right because now you got That's bull honky. The and the pass on defense. Looks like offsides. Here's the official call. Offsides. The offense will pick up five yards with that offside. Yeah, the young man is a little too impatient. First, First down and five to go. Ball on the ball the yard line. Number eight is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Fumble! And it's halftime. We have a new NCAA Haley with the sack. 41-17 me at the half, though. You need to block this guy with 
showing number one Notre Dame who the real number one is. It might not even be me either, but I'm showing them it's definitely not them. Nobody can stop this kid. Yep, nobody can stop this kid. So I've outgained Notre Dame 412 to 295. I have 17 first downs to their nine. Outran them 165 to 44. Outpassed them 240. They've outpassed me 251 to 247. I've been sacked twice. I sacked them once. I'm five of seven on third downs. They're one of four, and they have thrown four interceptions while I had the two early uh, turnovers. But I am winning time of possession by a lot. Sam Brown's 11 to 15, 247 with three scores and a pick, and has 10 carries for 74 yards and a score. McDuffie has nine for 49 and a score, and Brown, Brian Brown, has six for 42. And Fuller is having himself the day of days. 10 catches, 251, three scores in the first half. And Jacobs has the negative four-yard reception that turned into a fumble. All right, so with that being said, let's resume. We got to play defense first. The second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. Boom! He sends it off. Number 19 fields it at the three. Ooh, there you go. Come on, defense. The offense will take over at the 22 yard line. Setting up the play action. Throws it. Ooh. Should have had that one. He just dropped it, coach. Plain and simple. That was a of course, Notre Dame's backup quarterback has Pat White level speed. He's an 89 on speed, 90 on agility, 90 on acceleration. So I got to really be on my P's and Q's with this guy. Oh, there you go, Sandy. Way to knock his block off. Dang it! Ah, that guy is talented. Exactly why this kid is so tough to defend. You bet he is. He's faster than some of the receivers. They'll line up at the 35-yard line. First down. The Irish go with the I formation. Bell gets the carry. Jeez. Come on, defense. On defense, it's all about instincts. It didn't look like their instincts worked too well on that play. <laughs> You're right, Lee. There was a lot of running room there. Boom, there you go. Good job, Haley. That's a great stop by the All-American. This guy is such Second a great player. Man. When we oh, see this guy in the award yard. show at the end of the year, we're going to have to give him an extra suitcase to bring home all of his awards. Notre Dame comes out in the shotgun. Oh, I had him. Oh, then I didn't. This isn't fair. I had him twice and he got away. Jeez. They'll throw for the first. He rolls out to the right. Over the middle. Really? You gotta be kidding me. No. Fellas, this is really turning into a very impressive drive. Three first downs and counting on this drive, Kirk. Man. They switch quarterbacks and they're world beaters again. this defense on the field. Bell is the single setback. Ooh, there we go. The halfback picks up a yard. Come on, defense. You gotta find a way to hold him to a field goal or force a turnover. They're in the eye. Bell gets the call again. He's tackled at the 15 yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. That's yeah, nothing. Just some news. The offense lines up trying to convert on third down here. Bell alone in the backfield. Oh. 
Play fake. Go into the end zone. Jeez, come on. A great throw, and that's his second touchdown catch of the game. The quarterback knew exactly where to put the pass, and the receiver went out there and made the grab. Good communication. Jeez. Oh, they're going for two. Man. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. They line up in the jumbo set. They're going to pitch it. Boom. Good job, Marcellus. 41-23 me. Yeah, it made sense to go for the two-point conversion here. They just weren't able to plunge it in. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Up with a kick ball. Decent kick. Bell has it at the five. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Mm. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Oh, uh, we don't need to do that. Oh, that we do need to do something about that though. Set up in the gun. Come on, please block for McDuffie, boys. McDuffie gets it on the inside. Jeez. McDuffie picks up a yard on the play. That'll bring up second down. It's second and nine. Ball on their own 25. Really? The Ducks changing their play at the line. Hmm. He drops back. Looks. He throws. Oh no. Oh, Fuller got it. I did not make a good decision, but Fuller bailed me out. Considered by many to not only win the best wide receiver award, but Lee, maybe the Heisman Trophy. He's a tremendous athlete. Kirk, I agree he's a great athlete, but he plays at a All right, Brian Brown, let's get you a running attempt if we can. So we'll have to wait and see. We've got a first and ten. Oof. Ball right around midfield. Brown lines up with four wideouts. There we go. Got a couple yards. Four yards to be exact. Second down and six to go. Ball on the 43 yard line. Looks like we have a speed option here for McDuffie. Line up with three wide. Alright, we can do this. We can do this. There's some positive affirmations. We can do this. Here's the option left. E -lateral. Good job, McDuffie. First down and more. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there running the football by this guy. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. The Ducks with four receivers. Drop back to pass. He's looking. Oh no! Come on, Smith! Oh, he dropped the touchdown. Second down. Dang it. It was there. Ten yards to go. Ball in the 28. The Ducks set up in the gun. Brown steps back to pass. Jeez. Well, at least he got some yards. About three yards that time on the screen. I'm going Memphis the other way. Third, it's third down seven. and seven to go. Ball, ball, ball on the 25 yard line. All right. He's back in the gun. Either scramble for it with Brown or we're going to hit Fuller. Drops back to pass. 
Looking. No. Oh, we're just going to go get it. With, oh, really? At the 18, seven yard play. Uh, I'm going to go for this one. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. They line up in the shotgun, surveys the field. Here comes the wow, they blew that play up. No one was open. What do you think of their choice to wow. Let me say one thing about that coaching decision. That play usually gets open, but nobody was open. Be a lot better off. Come on, defense. Notre Dame lines up for the shotgun set. Back to pass. Steps up in the Tony Haley coming in big. He's got it. That sets a new record for the school's all time sack list. What an accomplishment by one of the best players they've ever like that side, though. Ladies, parties at my place. With four wide receivers. Tony Haley again! Back to back sacks coming in like a heat seeking missile. Holy smokes. Come on, guys, do it again. Come on, Otson, get loud. We need you. Tony Haley needs you. Notre Dame sets up with four receivers. Tony Haley, three sacks in a row against one of the most mobile quarterbacks in the country. Oh, my goodness. Tony Haley. He's putting him in second and third and long situations. That is a definite momentum killer on offense. My defense showing why they're arguably the most disruptive defense in college football. Bell, back deep to return. He gets it off. Bell calls for the fair catch. The offense saw their last drive end on fourth down. Will we see a similar result this time? They'll go to work at the 49-yard line. The Oregon Ducks take over hmm. at the 49-yard line. Oregon comes out of the shotgun. Brown with the option. Now he there we go. They'll bring him down. Well, update, uh, upgrade McDuffie's yard per carry. Didn't go for more. No question, and they were not ready for that option play. They had guys running everywhere except to the ball. Lee, you're right. They looked like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. First down. Hmm. Brown has four receivers. Let's do this again. No, 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 get it! Yeah, Smith with the touchdown reception. He doesn't drop it this time. There we go. There we go. Now they'll try to tack on the extra point. Boom. And he adds the extra point. So under three minutes. D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D Oregon, ready to kick this one off. Boom. He puts it deep downfield. Number 19 fields it in the end zone. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had. Now, let me check my stats here. Well, McDuffie's closing in on 100 yards. Oh, boy. Yeah. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics. Brought to you by Coke. The Irish come out showing three wide. There we go. Great D. He saw the run was coming and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Notre Dame lines up with three receivers. He's tackled at the 19. No gain. 
Excuse me. The Irish line up with three wide. Back to pass. He's in trouble. Oh, Tony Haley again. That is sack number five. Makes the sack. I'm keeping track, guys, and that was his fifth sack. Remember last year in that game against Stanford, Tony Haley had ten sacks for the game. on the field getting ready to send one off my defense suddenly getting disruptive Bell is back to receive he gets it away calls for the fair catch let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here if they do my friend look out they're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry the offense will start mm. they'll start the drive at the 47 yard Brown comes to the line with three wide Ooh. First down, look at the throw. He looks. He decides to run with it. First down, Sam Brown. From the 37 yard line. Ball Second down in the couple of feet. Line. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Sorry, Fuller. Drop back to pass, and they try to set up. A oh, really? <sighs> wow. At the 39-yard line, that's a two-yard loss. Hmm. Hmm. From the 39 yard line. Ball it's third down. The to go. Yard line. From the gun. They'll throw for the first. Looking. Uh oh. Fuller. Ah, oh, dude. You got to give Fuller a chance, bro. The ball just slipped out on him. Maybe it did, but boy, that hurts. That could have been a big, big play. Fourth four down, and the Ball offense is still on the field. Yard line. The Ducks come out showing three wide. I don't trust that look. They're going to throw. He's looking. He throws. Yeah, wide open. <laughs> he forgot to cover that guy. Oh, he got hurt. So they're ready for the extra point. It's touchdown pass number five for Sam Brown. Boom. And he tacks on the extra point. Just a few seconds remaining now in the third quarter. And our score, Oregon 55, Notre Dame 23. Oregon to kick this one off. Bell and number 19 set to return. He kicks off. Number 19 fields it in the end zone. The defense did a nice job. Do, 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 do. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. Notre Dame in a four wide set. Bell, the ball carrier, broke away. Boom, from there you go, He's Sammy. In the open field. It looks like they picked up a yard or a little less. Second they line up at the 21. Ball Second and nine. One yard line. Come on, defense. The Irish line up with three wide. Boom! Sammy again with the play. Drop passes just aren't accepted. I don't care if you're getting hit or not. Hey, he'll shake it off. No big deal. Watch. They'll go to him again, and he'll come up with the catch. You know, he probably will, but there's still no excuse for the one he just dropped. Look at the Jeez, dang it. At the 42. On the what carrier. an outstanding third down conversion. Yeah, and he showed pretty good quickness there, First picking up ten. a nice game. Ball good quickness and very good decision making. Not a whole lot going on as far as throwing the ball there. 
He makes a wonderful decision. End of the third. I'm up 55-23. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we played three, and our score is Oregon 55, Notre Dame 23. Notre Dame lines up with three receivers. Lost the ball. Fumble. Yeah, Marcellus with a fumble recovery to go with his two interceptions. Oh, goodness. The offense has been horrible. So is the defense. Even their special teams are struggling. This is a great place to start the drive on the opponent's side of the 50. Oregon comes out of the shotgun. Brown on the option. He laterals the ball. There we go, McDuffie. A good 10 yards on the pickup. 10 on the play. Trying to get McDuffie over 100 yards before I take him out. Second and inches. Brown lines up with four wideouts. Blue 19. Come on, guys. Block for McDuffie. There we go. The first down. You guys know I like running players with the lead blocker, but if they can run consistently like they are right now, it doesn't matter how they're blocking it. As long as they block, they're going to make yards. As long as it's within the rules of the game, right, Lee? Brown has four receivers lined up here. <sighs> it's all right. We got control of the clock. Straight to the back. Ready. It's good yardage. That's a hundred yards rushing for the day, guys. You know, Brad, hundred yards is a great day, but the thing that I've been most impressed with is the way he's been able to accomplish that with such great effort. Ooh, they took it away. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. Really? I don't like that look at all. Well, just follow the blockers for the first down instead. <laughs> the option keeper will get him a first down. It's a very well executed option play. The blocking was there. The quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most. Brown with three wide receivers. <laughs> Sam Brown. From the seven yard line. Second down and short. Brown lines up in the shotgun. Hmm. All right. That was weird. And Fuller gets his fourth touchdown of the day. Six touchdown passes for Sam Brown. Yeah, he's one of the most exciting receivers in all the college football. He makes big plays all the time. Today, he's been even more incredible. Today is definitely a special day, and I'm going to tell you why. This kid is getting closer and closer to breaking the single game school record for receiving yards. What a game! And he converts the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. All right, so let's do some stat looking. So, yep, we're going to take McDuffie out. And we're going to take Fuller out. And... Yeah, we'll probably take... Well... Yeah, we'll take Sam Brown out, too. Well, let me think about that one. Let's see, let's put in Mr. Brown, Stiggle, Bell, Banks. 
And then we'll put in Jacobs, Lupo, Smith, Williams, Whitfield. All right. I think we'll keep Sam Brown in for now, but I may change my mind when I get the ball back. Johnson is ready to kick this one off. Boom! He kicks it off. Bell fields it at the two. Guys, what do you think about this situation? Hopefully we'll see the offense move this ball up the field a little bit. Yeah, Coach, they really haven't had too much success today. But this is an opportunity for them to get their team back on track and build some confidence. Come on, Otson. Do your thing. He's looking to pass. Tony Haley with sack number six. coming up here. Ball on the 18. The Fighting Irish come out showing three wide. Throws it out there. Catches it. Jeez. At the 30-yard line. I like Third to say one thing. The reason they were able to get something out of this play is the fact that the quarterback had time to get rid of the football. Good job up front by the offensive line. And don't come on, D. Play by the running back as well. Bell lines up in the deep back. High formation. Back to ah, Tony Haley just barely missed him. Ooh, fumble! And we get it. There we go. Oh, Lee Brown. Oh, let that be short term. I need you, bro. Even though I have depth, I need you. But I think that is six turnovers now by Notre Dame. Good field position here. They'll start this drive inside their opponent's territory. Oregon sets up with four receivers. First down, look at the throw. Let's no, 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 no. Aw, Smith. I tried. By the defense. Yeah, that's why they call him a safety, because he's the last line of defense. Right there, he second protected and the end zone. What ball a ball. Of it's second and ten. The Ducks audible to something else. Drops back to pass. Throws a screen. Good job, Lupo. First down and more. With the tackle at the 14-yard line. Decent yardage on the screen play. The quarterback there sets this thing up perfectly. He allowed the play to develop, which is exactly what you have to do to make this play work. Lee, you're right. And if they can continue to mix up their play calling, they'll keep this defense on their heels all day. The Ducks line up with three oh. wide. They'll throw on first down. It's complete. Oh, there we go. At the seven. How about that play? It's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Second, Second and three, three coming up. Ball on the seven yard line. The Ducks set up in the gun. Looks to pass. Brown unload. Oh, pfft. You turd. On the reception, no gain on the play. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the seven-yard line. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. To go to the air. Oh, this one is incomplete. This one should be makeable. This one is from 24 yards out. This is to add to an already impressive lead. He 
Got it. 65-23. And Sam Brown's done. For real this time. Nicola and Lucas. Boom! He sends it off. Bell has it at the five. Can't wrap him up. Okay, the phone call from some <laughs> number right I don't now. recognize. It's not the defense. They played well all game. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. Let's see if I get a message from them later. It's probably just some kind of robocall. Oh, Tony Haley, his seventh sack of the game. If I had a dollar for every time I get a robocall from some scammer, oh man, I'd be a millionaire by now. <laughs> man, that's sack number seven for Tony Haley. Nice. Almost had sack number eight. Boom. Fourth down. They fail to convert for the first half. Well, the offense hates to see that. The defense again, coach, stepping up. The defense is important. It wins football games for you. Bell, the return man. He punts it. They'll down the punt at the 34-yard line. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. Let's see if we can get Mr. Brown going on the ground. Set up shot at the 34. Brown lines up at the single back. Brown on the inside handoff. There we go. Good yards. Brown gets seven yards on the play. That'll bring up second down. It's second down. Ball on the 41 yard line. The Ducks with four receivers. Uh, we're just in mop up duty at this point. Oh man, no one blocked that side. You have a hole. Scrimmage, but not much more. They line up at the forty one. Third and three. Costa lines up in the shotgun. All right, Costa, let's see if we can get you a completion or a first down scrambling. And he's gonna scramble for it. Nate Costa. Good awareness on that scramble there. Please answer this question to me. Where was the defense on that play? You can't let a pocket type quarterback run on your defense like that. There's no excuse for that kind of play on defense. The problem there, coach, is they dropped everybody back in coverage and left enough running room for the big guy to get a first down. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. He's looking, rolling out to the right side. He Jeez, just not fast enough to get away from that. Second, second down and ten to go on the forty-three yard line. Oregon lines up with three receivers. White thirty-three. Looks 
looks to pass. Surveys the field. No, 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 no. It's deflected. Ah, I tried. Decided to go with a pass there, guys. In this situation, you simply want to run the ball the and avoid turning it over. And you don't want to stop the clock. Third Somebody should ten. be in that coach's ear after that 43 yard. yard. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Costa drops back to pass. He rolls left. Meow. Oh, bro, you had it. Nope. Not much at all. It's not easy hanging out and the football when there's another guy coming at you. Those are going to be drops more times than not. Actually, you know what? I, I changed my mind. I'm not punting. Shotgun. All right, Stagall, you get out there in the. Oh yeah, here we go. They need this pass. He rolls out to the left. He chucks it. Na 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 touchdown to the speedy backup running back. Rub it in like this, yeah, coach. But then again, it is their job to stop this offense. I mean, it can't help that their plays are working so well. Well, if that's the case, then I hope they schedule these guys again. Because there's nothing sweeter than getting revenge on the team that likes to run up the score. They line up for the extra point. Boom. And he converts 72 to 23. This is a normal Justin game now. Although I did some pretty spectacular stuff to get to this point. Especially on defense. Holy smokes. Six turnovers, all those sacks, tackles for loss. Archer fields it at the three. Boom. Haley, another tackle. And he's gone. <laughs> Guy Haley tackle is just out of there. I think he'll be up and running again in no time. They'll take first down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 18. Number eight lines up with four wideouts. Juke move. Jeez. Sox tackles him at the 33 yard line. How about that run by this halfback? You, you know, know what? what? Give yourself this a penalty. I'll take the that. Like this. Watch out. They can score quickly. Watch out is right because now you got to worry about the run and the pass on defense. Well, I think they might have gone just a little too far that time. <sighs> And it looks like we've got our Coca-Cola players of the game. Tony Haley! Holy moly! No wonder he was my player of the game. Jeez. Brings him down at the 19-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. They line up at the 19. Second down. Back on the inside give. And he has room to rumble. Boom. And he's leveled. What a hit. That was a great hit by the defender. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground. Third and third down, and what they didn't want to get in. They'll work from the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Boom! Sack by Brooks. It's one big sack party out there. Jeez. <laughs> I'm sorry for this quarterback. He's taking a beating. He's been taking some serious hits all day long, Lee. The coach might want to get him out of there before he gets hurt. Bell is back awaiting the punt. He gets it off. Bell takes this to 36. The offense with a lot of success through the air on that last drive as they moved it down the field for the touchdown. They'll take over at the 41 yard line. First and 10. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. Costa drops the throw. He's rolling left. Oh no. That was hit as he threw. Whatever. <laughs> 72 to 23 final. I win. Costa hadn't been hit. That would have been a touchdown. Oregon played an excellent game out there. Dominating on both.
both sides of the ball. They got to feel pretty good after blowing And I had an itchy here. That concludes another game. Of yeah, I moved to 2 and 0 on no. Final score here today. Oregon 72. No, 3 and 0 on the season. What am I thinking? 3 and 0 on the season. Totally forgot about Stanford last week and I beat him 73-20. So he beat Notre Dame 72-23. I outgained him 691 to 403 in yards, 28 to 15 in first downs. Outran him 263 to 100. Outpassed him 428 to 303. I gave up four sacks, but they sat. I sacked them eight times. Held them to five of 13 on third downs. While I was six of 12 on third downs. I went two of three on fourth down conversions. Uh, they failed on their one two point attempt. I forced six turnovers on defense. Four of them interceptions. Two of them fumbles. I turned it over three times myself, too early, and then the last one on the last play of the game, which was meaningless. And I dominated time of possession. Let's, let's see, Sam Brown went 20 of 28, 385, six touchdowns, one interception, and had 15 carries for 94 yards and a touchdown. Nate Costa went 1 of 4 for 43 yards if a score and a pick, and had two carries for 16 yards. McDuffie had 15 carries for 100 yards and a score. Brian Brown had nine carries for 53 yards, and he also had a 40, no, 39 yard touchdown reception. And we go to receiving. Fuller had 12 catches for 286 of four scores and a pick. Stigall had one reception for 43 yards and a score. And Smith had a 35 yard touchdown reception. And Lupo had two for 21. You go to defense, though, and holy smokes. Haley, 15 tackles, 10 for loss, 7 sacks, and he forced 2 fumbles. And then you have Mark Sani, another linebacker, who had 6 tackles, 1 for loss, 2 interceptions, and 2 pass deflections. Lee Brown, before he got hurt for the game, had 5 tackles. And then Long had 5 tackles. And then Marcellus, wherever he is... He had two tackles, but he also had two interceptions, two pass deflections, and he recovered a fumble. Holy smokes. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed watching me pound Notre Dame into the ground, 72-23. to A lot of big-time performances today. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, leave your likes and comments down below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to me on Quarter and Rumble. With that, I bid you guys adieu, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.